I got a request to make a video about how to add animation for this character. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to use this pack as my environment. Open in Unity, download, import. Let's go open one of the scenes. I'll use the demo too. And the animated character that I'm going to use is right here, animated character too. So you can download that. And inside this package, there's actually a Unity package. So we can add that and it's going to help us out a little bit because all of the animations and all the materials are created for us. Import, go back to assets, and now we have an animated character too here. And here we have skins, model, and that's what we're gonna add into our scene. So let's put a character here. I think he's a little bit too big for our environment, so let's scale him down to 0.5. Now when you add a model, you can see that there is an animator component, but we don't have a controller here. So let's go to animations, and inside here, let's create an animator controller. I'll just leave a default name, select my character and connect that animator controller. Double click on the animator controller to open it up. And now we can add the animations. If you want the uh, default one to be idle, we can add idle first. And that's going to make it as a default. If we click play now, you can see that our character has idle animation. And similar way, you can add the other ones. Now to switch between animations, we need to make some transitions. So you can right click make transition and let's transition to run animation. To configure when you want the transition to happen, you can select on that transition. And inside here, we can create conditions for transitions. Now for the conditions, we need to use some parameters. So right here, I'm currently in layers mode. I can switch to parameters and click the add and let's add a Boolean. So I'll add a Boolean for run. By default, it's going to be not checked. And now if I add a condition, you can see that I get a condition when run is true, then it's going to make the transition. You have other settings here that control how long the transitions happens. I'm not going to cover these settings. I did cover more of it when I was setting up animations for Among Us. There's a link in description if you want to see that one. But let's make another transition that will transition back. Select that transition add a condition, but this time if it's false. You can control this parameter with scripts, but for test purposes, I can move the animator right here and let's click play. So our character starts in idle. If I check the run parameter, you can see that our character switches into run. There is a delay between the transitions. And like I said, there is settings for the transition. So you can tweak those settings for it to be closer to your liking. Now, if you manually need to import some other animations, for instance, let's import these manually. Let's import the run animation. There's some changes that you need to do to this one. So this is the one that was from a Unity package. And this one is the one that I just imported. So if you select it and go onto the rig, there's some settings that you want to change. For animation type, you want to switch to humanoid, click apply. And after we do that, if we go to animation, we can actually see the preview. So there are two clips, targeting pose and the run. So the run is the actual run animation. And if we actually have those two clips, when we drag him into the animator, both of those clips are going to be added. So you can remove one if you want. If you're never going to use that targeting pose, you can come here and select the targeting pose, click remove, and then apply. And after that, if you import it now, you're just going to get the root run. And for the transition, you can do the same thing click play, but you can see that the uh, character just runs for a second and then stops after the animation ends. For that, you can select the animation and in here you want to find the loop time. So currently it's disabled. If you enable that, it's going to loop infinitely. Forgot to apply, click apply. So if we play now, you can see that it goes the run animation and the animation continues. So there you go. That's a quick run through how to set up animation using this model. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.